Let me show you how to add a video to your PowerPoint presentations just like you see here on screen so that you can make your presentation come to life and enhance what you're teaching. Hey, it's Arit here with Estatino Media. Okay, let's get right into it. So there's actually two ways that you can add a video to your PowerPoint presentation. All you need to do is go to insert and then where it says video right here, you'll notice there's two options. You can either upload a video straight from your computer, so a video file, or you can insert a link and it's gonna pull that video directly into your presentation from the link. So let's start off with the video file and then I'll show you the online videos in a second. So I'll actually just delete this to show you what I did. And I'm gonna go to video, video on my PC, and then I'm going to just find this video here, which has nothing at all to do with this title, but just wanted to show you an example. I can adjust the sizing of the video here, as you see, by clicking and dragging on the corners, and then I can position it accordingly. Now, what's cool here is you can do some customizations to make the video look good and suit your PowerPoint presentation. So there's two tabs for you to know about. The first one is video format. And this pertains, by the way, to the online videos as well, if you're going to be inserting a video from a link. So you can use these different shapes. You can use these different pre-templates. You see it added a border, etc. You can customize the color. So you can do those different things. But the other piece to it is the playback, which I think is the most important here. In the playback tab, you can set the video to play in different ways. So there's three options here. You can tell it to start on an in-click sequence, which means, I'll show you here, let's say you're on a previous slide and you're clicking and you're talking. If you're gonna click again, it's gonna start playing the video rather than it going to the next slide. And then if you click again, it goes to the next slide, right? So that's what in-click sequence means. The other thing here is to play automatically when you get to that slide. So let's say I'm here, I'm gonna click, and you see here it starts playing automatically. So the other option here is when clicked on. So only if you click on the video, that's when it's actually gonna play. Meaning if you're on this slide, you're clicking, and then you click again, it's gonna go to the next slide right away. It won't play the video. So those are the most important, um, in my opinion, what I would wanna know in terms of adding a video. And there's other things that you can play with here too. So looping the video until you, it stops, you can trim the video, you can add a bookmark. So for example, if I know that I only wanna show this part here in the video, I can click on add bookmark. And so when I am presenting and I'm playing the video, I can easily just click to that part and then it will show it for me. Now keep in mind, some of these options here are not available when you are inserting a video from a link. So let me show you that option here now. So again, I'm gonna go to insert video, online videos, and then I've already paste, uh, copied the link that I wanna paste in. So let's say here, make sure it's the right video. Then you're gonna click insert and it's gonna pull the video in here for you. And again, you can go to video format and customize the look of it. You can even change out th this poster frame here is to have a different preview for the video. So there's different things that you could do. But if you notice the playback, the only thing that you can modify is this is when you want it to start. So the three options that I showed you earlier in this video. You can't uh, trim the video or add bookmarks or looping it or anything like that won't be available to you. And that's it, quick and easy, how to insert a video into your PowerPoint presentations. You can head down to the description for more PowerPoint tutorials on this channel. But if this was helpful, please hit the like button to let YouTube know this is good content to share with others. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.